Hey guys, it's Dragathon, and today we're going to be working some more on the interface. Um, we've got our lines and stuff already, um, but I want to make these go horizontal this way instead of vertically. Um, and also, when you click on these, as you can see, this these texts are not uh, properly aligned. So, we're just going to be doing some more alignment and moving some stuff around. So first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and come into our draw event and what we're going to do is right here this value uh, the choice the plus sign choice um, value 2 we want to cop we want to cut that after from being after all of the y coordinates and we want to paste it after the x coordinates and what that's going to do is it's going to go ahead and make things go horizontally instead of ver vertically. Let me just paste it there. And then delete that one. <clears throat> and then we just have to do it one last time on this part. Uh, we paste it there. And right here. Doop. Okay, so what we did was we switched the um, the choice array value from being added to the y coordinate to being, and we changed it over to being added to the x coordinate instead for the draw rectangle event here and the if statement uh, for the mouse for checking the mouse locations here and for the draw sprite at the top here and that's going to make it go horizontally but we're also going to need to come into our create event and add some we're, I'm going to modify the X coordinate and the Y coordinate so to do that I'm going to come into the create event and underneath our variables here underneath draws I'm going to put x plus equals um, I'm gonna add a hundred because I want it to be moved over 100 pixels from where, where it currently is so we just plus equals and do the same thing for y only move it over 50 pixels and then always end it with a semicolon and then we can go ahead and check that and see what's going on so as you can see the uh, sprites are now horizontal instead of vertical and everything else is has been moved down about 50 pixels and also has been uh, some of the things have been moved over a hundred pixels as well um, mainly I think it was only the sprites that have been moved over a hundred but everything has been moved kind of down a little bit so that's that and let's go ahead and come into the draw event again and we're going to be pos repositioning some of the text things so like for example this player selection text here um, I don't want that to be in its current location because it was being written over the sprites so I'm going to go ahead and move that up 50 pixels so instead of being plus 25 I'm going to change this to minus 25 and then everything else looked pretty good so I think that should be fine for that area and then under the enemy interface um, this one right here change that to a normal apostrophe um, the draw text for the enemy selection it was being written over our line vertical line divider so I'm gonna go ahead and move that over uh, we'll move it to about 360 and that should be pretty good and maybe 340 yeah alright 
Oh, and another thing. I wanted to move the result text that shows the player's result. That is currently on the enemy's side. So I want to move that, the X coordinate, over to be more on the player side. And I also kind of want it to be aligned with the player selection. So I'm going to change the Y coordinate to be minus 25. And I'm going to change the X coordinate to be, we don't want it to be 100 because that would be overwriting the text. Um, so I'm just going to make it like 200 instead and that should give us a nice space in between them and also on this draw text right here the enemy selection um, we need to change the Y value of that as well because I want it to be lined up again with the player selection so we are just going to um, subtract 25 from that Y value and then we can go ahead and hit the check mark, press the play button, and it looks like everything is lined up properly from the start. So let's go ahead and click one of these, and it still looks like everything is lining up perfectly. Uh, we could probably move this win, loss, draw text right there. We can probably move this over a little bit more. So I'll go ahead and go do that. Back into the draw event. Mm -hmm. and it was right here the player result uh, let's go ahead and make that 250 and we'll see how that looks uh, all right and there we go that to me looks just about perfect so I'm gonna leave it at that and the next thing I want to do is I want it to uh, Let's see here. I want it to be drawing a picture of the choice that the enemy is making. So, we're going to have to go draw some sprites. And we'll put this under the enemy interface. We'll do a draw sprite. Uh, we'll need... We're, we're going to have to make this a variable, so I will just name this variable enemy sprite. The sub image is zero. The x value, I want it to be lined up here with the enemy selection text, so the x value is going to be 340. And the y value will be, uh, we'll just make it y. That should put it 25 pixels under the enemy selection text so now you're probably saying hey you just made a variable called enemy sprite but it has no value and the program is going to see that and just kind of bring up an error message and abort itself and essentially it's going to crash and burn and die and all the world will just perish so in order to prevent the oblivion the obliteration of our universe we have to go ahead and define this variable up here somewhere so I'm gonna go ahead and make this variable right under enemy text and we're gonna call it enemy sprite and it's going to be equal to the choice array and put our square brackets there end it with a semicolon inside of the square brackets we're gonna put enemy because this is the enemy value here the enemy's choice we wanted to draw the enemy's choice not the players and then for the second value we don't want it to be zero because that's um that is our choice text we want it to be the sprite and the value for the sprite is right up here in this draw sprite event and so the value for sprite is one okay and now you think, all right, so that's pretty good. That, sh that should probably work. Well, close, but no cigar. Because actually it's going to still, it's going to, until we cl left click on a selection, it's going to be running this with no value. So in order to pre 
prevent it from running it with no value, we need to put this in an if statement. So for the if statement, I'm going to put if enemy sprite, which is the variable, uh, is less than, if this is less than, we'll go ahead and say three, because anything less than three is going to be either rock, paper, or scissors, because those are zero, one, and two, respectively. So therefore, the, the value must be less than three, and then we go ahead and use our curly braces, braces, go ahead, tab this over, brackets or braces, whatever they're called, curly ones, the squiggly kind, and then that's going to go ahead and make it work, except for we now have to define a starting value in our create event, and we're going to have to define this for the enemy sprite uh, variable, make sure that's a lowercase e and a capital S enemy sprite equals we're going to start it off at three so that there is no sprite drawn in the very beginning of the game so as you can see everything is lined perfectly there is no sprite drawn over here and when as soon as we click a selection we get a sprite drawn over here and it tells us scissors and it also tells us whether or not we won <coughs> So, I do believe that that is it. Um, I have nothing further that I need to inform you of. And so, you can go ahead and mess around with this. Maybe draw the player sprite too. But, that's it for now. And until next time, bye bye